My name is Lottie Hodson, I'm 27 and I'm a photographer who lives and works in North London. And I've kind of been interested in photography for as long as I can remember. I did art at school, I did um, photography A-level and I studied a photography degree at Falmouth University. And I lived in Amsterdam for a bit working at a fashion magazine where I did photography and writing for them. I currently do freelance photography and I work as a communications manager and an in-house photographer for a product design company. I mainly focus on editorial and documentary photography, I do a lot of portraiture. I think with my photography I like kind of searching for a quirk or like a story. That's kind of how I find my projects or if I'm doing portraits like I love trying to find out what their personality is and then trying to tell that through an image. I predominantly shoot on film, usually in medium format. I think I focus on shooting film because I, I kind of like enjoy the process. I find that a lot more methodical than doing digital. I enjoy the fact that with uh, my Hasselblad, I have kind of 12 images on the film. I've got to really think about each shot. I have to kind of focus and think about exactly how I'm setting it up, what I want to say with the image. And to me, that process is a lot of the enjoyment of photography. I mean, I also love having to wait for the pictures to come back. I would say that's why I kind of focus on the film. And I love the quality that you can achieve with medium format. So the project that I'm showing here is 450 Churches. It's a project that I shot whilst on holiday in Greece. We went to a little island called Paros and it only takes an hour to drive from one end to the other but there's 450 churches kind of scattered all over and I think I loved that there were just these little churches everywhere and I kind of didn't know didn't know why they were there or what they were about and I thought it was such a unique thing about the island and it turns out there's it, there's like an old tradition that each family should have a church to their name that's dedicated to a specific um, saint and then on the St Patrick's Day that year they all have a celebration but it means for the rest of the year these churches are kind of unused and so when you're driving around Paros there's just hundreds of deserted little churches. They're all totally different and so it was, I kind of made it my mission to try and find all of them and take pictures. In the future I would like to carry on with this project and go back to Paros and um, take more take more photos of the churches and potentially make it into a zine. I came to the private view last night and I was kind of like wowed by how many people were here, there was music, all the, all the work's amazing, it's really diverse and yeah I'm really pleased to be a part of it.